Oh, that's good coffee. All right, guys, how's it going? Or, if you go by my YouTube analytics, guten tag, my friends, how was das? Das is good, yeah? I actually have quite a lot of German subscribers, and that kind of took me by surprise, to be honest. I think it goes America, Germany, United Kingdom, and then France. So, that's something that you probably didn't need to know. <laughs> but anyway, this is just to give you an update regarding Studio 53 tools. Now, this is an add-on that, personally, I'm working on, and to be honest, it's not going to change your life, but it does have a couple of nice tools. Now, I want to address a YouTuber's question, and he kind of moaned about it, and he says, why did you call it Freestyle Wireframe? And, well, the reason is, if you select the object, hit Freestyle Wireframe, it'll secretly go into Edit Mode, it'll mark the edges for Freestyle, and then when you hit Render, you essentially get a Freestyle Wireframe Render. And that's why I called it that. And the reason I haven't changed the name of it is because a couple of users have actually bought it, and I feel I would be doing them a disservice to just change the name. Maybe later down the line, if the tools get bigger, I might make a separate version. But for now, we're calling it the Freestyle Wireframe. Now, one thing that I did add is added Frame All and Selected. So just to give you an example, add in another object here. And if I select the object, it'll frame that. If I have nothing selected, it'll frame all selected. Now, one thing that I did add that I thought might come in a little bit useful, and the reason I made this is because I was making a tutorial, and I thought, this is a pain in the ass to set up. I might as well just script it. And it's called Setup Isometric. So, just to give you an example, we have our camera here, and we have our basic render. So, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to hit Setup Isometric, and you'll notice that it creates a new camera, it puts a location at 12, 12 and 12, and this is kind of the default that I found to be the best. I think I've seen it in a YouTube video, to be honest. And it also sets up your isometric options, so if you go to the camera options, you can see that it's changed your camera to orthographic, and it's put the scale to 5. So when you hit render, it'll give you this kind of orthographic view. And that's pretty much the basics of the update. I mean, of course, you've got rest on ground, center object, and a couple of other basic tools. And that's pretty much the video. Apologise if it's kind of off topic and I'm not teaching you anything. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, I've got no mates, no mates, follow me, follow me. You know what to do. Peace.